Okay, this video is a quick overview of the features of Causality Story Sequencer version 3. And this is a huge release with both a ton of new toys to play with and major internal restructuring for collaboration. And as always, it's also a free update. One of the biggest changes is that we're giving up on the distinction between beats and snippets. Now everything is just beats, whether you're in the script or the whiteboard. And that leads to many new features. For example, small thing, we can now edit characters and tags directly in the script. If you enable show characters or show tags in the display menu, you now have these rows. Characters add themselves as you type in the script. Or you can right click to add them. In the same way, everything about a beat is available in the inspector when you're editing in the final script mode. You just have access to everything everywhere. Tags are now much more first-class citizens in causality. You can of course add them to the beats the same way by right-clicking. And if you're coloring by tags, the first tag determines the color of the beat. Tags are also replacing subtext beats. And before you panic, the workflow is basically the same. Because tags are now actual objects that you create and research. And then you can simply drag them onto beats. So if you have an idea for a character trait, like that the Terminator thinks like a machine, you simply drop this tag on every beat where this vibe is being expressed. The check mark indicates that you're currently using this idea in the story. The point is then to understand the story as all these individual story threads. You can first of all filter on a tag by right clicking. And now you can just read this story thread that there's a gap of 15 pages and then it continues and so on. This is just regular filtering, and it hasn't changed. But it's much more front and center, which changes how you work. Another tag feature that'll fundamentally change how you work is flow lines. Anytime you click on a beat, we draw lines through all the beats that use that tag or tags. And this gives you a fantastic overview of each aspect of your story. Especially when you zoom out, you can see where a concept or a character trait or a through line comes back into the story. And of course, it works with filtering. So if we filter on the tag that says Sarah is considered crazy, we can follow that story thread and see all the places it touches the story. You'll notice, by the way, that the whiteboard is a real timeline now, basically a detail view of the existing timeline. So we can scrub around, which makes it much easier to understand the sequence of events. The white indicator shows the current beat. The existing timeline is then more of an overview and the place where you see emotion curves which are coming soon. And they're always in lockstep. So back to the script, there are more things you can turn on. Next is the synopsis. Every beat now has a dedicated synopsis field for writing goals for what the beat is supposed to achieve. You previously had to do this inside the script itself. Another use for the synopsis field is to write a shadow script, basically what the characters are really thinking. So here I'm writing that Sarah hates the other character with a passion. That's the truth, but in the script she's super nice. Writing using a shadow script is a fantastic technique for creating subtext. Another benefit of beats as a clean concept is that we can now just open beat editors without having to go there in the script. 
The beat actually doesn't even have to be in the script. You can just take a stab at writing the text and only later figure out where to use it. You can even open multiple beat editors and just do all your work in the full screen whiteboard. And there's a huge feature in here that we now have beat versions. You can now write alternate versions of a beat and switch between them, like if we want to try a different wording. There are many more new features in Causality 3.0. Check out the change lock when you update.